Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm the owner of Classic Shoe and Leather Service in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a third generation cobbler with over 30 years experience. Our facility repairs all leather items. Come on in, let's see what we're repairing today. All right, so we got a fun video today. We're gonna to do another stretch video on calves because those are very popular, we like those. Uh, we're gonna do an interesting one today. We're gonna to do a calf and thigh stretch simultaneously. The calf is right here, her thigh is right here. Neither of them actually fit the boot, but we're, we're pretty close. We're, we're within an inch on you know most of it. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. This one's going to be a little bit different because since we're on, we're going to be stretching a different portion of the area, we're not actually going to have the stretcher down in the bottom portion of the boot. So we're not going to have anything to uh, uh, put pressure against. We're going to do it a little bit different way on the table and show you how to do that. So. And once again, they've already been conditioned with the calf stretchers in thigh side or the uh, calf side to the outside, same as always. We're going to go ahead and pull these apart. Okay, make sure that that's open, no problem. We're going to go ahead and grab three of the wedges, and slide that in. Not even. That's a little bit taut right now. You can see that that's very, very loose. Okay, right here is pretty loose. That's a little tighter than that. And this is fine. So, calf is right in here. Okay, right in here. Thighs right up in here. Let's get this going. All right. So you can see that the stretchers in the wedge only come down to about this part of the ankle, okay, over here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that all even up. So came down to about right there. That's all we really need for right now. Go ahead and take a smaller wedge. We're going to go one back, one in the front. Okay. Starting to get some good pressure here. Over right here. In the thigh and calf. pressure on here. Now that we're actually got to be careful because now we're actually going to start stretching the material. This is kind of just getting it into form so that it's in a position to where it's under pressure. Um, it takes about 600 pounds of pressure per square inch to be able to stretch out leather uh, and it takes a period of time. We like to keep our leather on there about a week <clears throat> uh, to make sure that the elasticity of the leather has kind of broken and the leather will stay in that position for a while so the person can get to fit their, their calf and a specific way. All right, so now we're gonna do another small wedge and see if we can get a stretch. Without breaking, that's always key. Okay, you can see how much the wedge has opened up right there against that. Let's put a good bit of pressure on it, right back here. I like a drum. Right. Oh, that's nice and tight. Not quite there down here. Let's see. Our seams are still doing good. I'm pushing the seams. No 
seam right here. Seams are still doing good. Still got a little bit of flex in it. Not a lot. I'm going to go ahead and push it a little bit more. So, that's under pressure. You can come and look. The other two wedges didn't make it anywhere close to being coming down here, or didn't make it anywhere close to the bottom. They probably made it about right here, right here. So, that's how we stretch those. Put it all under there. Thigh and calf at the same time. You can push it out. This is going to do very, very nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed another stretch today in our lessons in leather. Um, we'll see you next time. Thank you.